Welcome to Math with Professor V. Here is your latest integral of the day. I'm finally getting my voice back after fighting something nasty for the past week. So bear with me. Let's get started. We have the definite integral from 0 to 1 of the square root of x plus the square root of x plus the square root of x, so on and so forth forever and ever. Um, I picked up this one from the integration B last week and I thought it was so clever and lovely. So Pause the video if you want to try it on your own. I'll show you how I'm solving it. And obviously, if you approach it a different way, please share in the comments down below. So the key is to define the integrand as z or some other variable, whatever your choice is. And then notice that within z, z reappears. That this sum here is also z. So off to the side, we could say that z is equal to the square root of x plus itself, plus z. That's the key turning point here. Are we okay? All right, perfect. Now, what my goal is to try is to try to solve for z in terms of x. So I'm going to try to complete the square. First, let's square both sides. So z squared equals x plus z. My goal is to solve for z. So I have z squared minus z is equal to x. If I'm gonna complete the square, I'm gonna take the coefficient of z, which is negative one, cut it in half and square it. So I'm gonna add 1 fourth to both sides. So this equals x plus 1 fourth. And then now this is a perfect square trinomial, so that factors into z minus 1 half squared. And that's equal to x plus 1 fourth. Okay. So from here, if I take the square root of both sides, we have z minus 1 half equals plus or minus the square root of x plus 1 fourth. But obviously, this can only take on values that are not negative. If we look here, we're dealing with the principal positive radical. And so at long last, we can say z is equal to 1 half plus the square root of x plus 1 fourth. And that's what I'm going to replace my entire integrand with. So I'm going to replace all of this, which is z, with 1 half plus the square root of x plus 1 fourth. And then it's a very simple integration problem that a Calc 1 student could do. Look at that. Okay. So we have, let's throw a little narrative on here for the people. So we have integral from 0 to 1 of 1 half plus, I'm just going to rewrite this already as x plus 1 fourth to the 1 half dx. Good. Okay. And then we'll just integrate term by term. So we'll have 1 half x plus, and then add 1 to the exponent, divide by the new exponent. So we'll be left with 2 thirds x plus 1 fourth to the 3 halves evaluated from 0 to 1. And then now we'll just evaluate this at our upper and lower limits of integration. So we'll have 1 half times 1 plus 2 thirds times 1 plus 1 fourth, that's 5 fourths to the 3 halves, minus 0 plus, be careful, this is going to be 2 thirds times 0 plus 1 fourth, which is 1 fourth to the 3 halves. And then let's see, okay, so this is 1 half plus 2 thirds 5 to the 3 halves is 5 rad 5, 4 to the 3 halves is 8, minus, this is 2 thirds times a 1 eighth. And then let's clean up, clean up. So this is going to give me 10 rad 5 over 24. And then I have minus, this is 2 over 24. Don't worry, I didn't forget about that 1 half. That's 12 over 24. So I could write all of this as 10 rad 5 plus 10 over 24. And then just simplify, right? I could divide a 2 out from everybody. 5 rad 5 plus 5 over 12. And voila, we are done. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed this integral. I know a lot of you guys are furiously studying for finals coming up, which is great. I have final exam review videos for Calc 1, Calc 2. I have previous final exams that I solve on YouTube for Calc 3, differential equations, 
and my other calculus classes pre-calc as well. So I have a ton of resources to help you. And also don't forget to check out Ask Professor V if you just need student life studying tips and other general school advice. Thank you guys so much for your support. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Instagram and TikTok, Math with Professor V, and I will be back sooner than later. Stay healthy, everyone. Love you all.